Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So for today's video, I do have my Sephora Playbox for the month of August. I don't know why I came so late. So I called Sephora and I'm like, hello, where's my box? So they're like, yeah, yeah, it's going to come, whatever. And tracking was like so off. But anyways, it arrived yesterday, so I am filming it today. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. I just peeked inside, so I don't know exactly what's going on in here. But uh, this is how the bag looks for the month. It just has like eyes on it and the theme of this month's box is the eye openings so a lot of stuff that are included for the eye area sephora play box retails for ten dollars every month if you're new to sephora's play box and um it comes <laughs> it comes about every 20th of every single month and you're charged around the first of every month but anyways let's get started with what's in here by the way isn't this having the cutest thing i'm trying to figure out how to do this but i came home my mother's like i got you a few things and i'm like she's so cute Anyways, uh, the first thing that we do have in this little package uh, is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. So it comes in this really nice uh, packaging. I love the fact that it looks so like legit even though it's a smaller size, you know? So just open it up like that and this is how the mascara looks. Um, I haven't tried this in the full size. I have tried a lot of like deluxe size samples. So this is not anything new to me really, but I really do like this mascara. I feel like it is pretty black. The wand is pretty standard, I would say, but it has more of a fluff to it. And I don't know why I love smelling mascaras, but I really do like this because it is super, super black. Perversion is like the blackest of the black, so this is included in that category. So I'm so excited to use this once again because the old one that I have is pretty dry. So, so far, thumbs up for that. The next product that we have in here is a perfume. I'm always so excited to see what perfume they include because either it smells like shit or it smells amazing. So hopefully this will smell nice. This is from the brand Clean. And um, yes, this is how the packaging looks. Just like that. So let's smell this. It smells pretty, pretty good. It smells like cleaning products. Not Mr. Clean or whatever, but it smells like... It smells like, you know how after you clean your house and you just wash the floors and the windows are open and it just smells like mad fresh in the house? That's what it smells like. Yum, I love this. I didn't know they have such smells like this. I would love to wear this on my body. Smell like the house? Who wouldn't? Anyways, um, yeah, it is a very, very clean... Uh, very fresh like morningish kind of smell so love this so far definitely gonna be checking this out I didn't know this kind of thing even exists so another thumbs up for that the next product that we have in here is another eye product since the theme of the box is eyes um, this is a Sephora contour eye pencil 12 hour wear crayon and this is in the color it is waterproof. Oh, it's in the color Love Affair 33. So I'm so excited to pop this out. Look how cute this little packaging is. Also, I love the fact that it's legit and nice, you know? And on the back, it looks really cool because it just shows all the other colors that there are that Sephora carries. Um, I do love Sephora eyeliners because I do feel like that they're pretty good quality and they're pretty affordable, kind of like drugstore prices. So this is how it looks and that is the color. Is this purple? I don't know, I feel like my eyes playing games with me. Either it's brown or purple, something like that. But let's swatch and see, so. Ooh, really, really nice. Very, very creamy. I love it. So pretty. It's like a deepened eggplant purple. I love such colors just because I love to wear darker liners on my eyes. Like, I'm not into the green, blues, and those kind of eyeliners, but when it's this dark, but it has a purple tint to it, I think it would look beautiful. And it's not so harsh either, you know? So, I'm so excited to try this and wear this, and I will for sure probably check out any other color from Sephora because they do look really, really nice, and they, they feel very creamy, like, really, really good, and it doesn't really smudge, so thumbs up for that as well. And the next thing that we have in this box is a Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. I love Makeup Forever Shadows. I think that they're amazing, really, really nice quality. And I, look how cute this packaging is. Like, hello? Like, so cute. Anyways, let's swatch this. If you haven't ever swatched any Makeup Forever Shadows, just go into Sephora and just blob your hands on each shadow and you'll feel like you're in, like, eyeshadow heaven. Like, you just want to, like, swim in it because it's so freaking smooth. But anyway, this is how the shade looks. Pretty pigmented, I would say. And this is in the color... Um, I-544, so that's an iridescent, so also like a purpley, wow, so nice, such a pretty, beautiful color, I think those two really, really go well hand in hand together, so I'm actually excited, because I could use the eyeshadow and then put the eyeliner like on the waterline and stuff like that, then create a really nice, kind of like simple purple look, or more dramatic, but I love the fact that they're kind of like 
in the purple family because they go hand in hand together. Next thing that we do have here is from Lancome. I did not know what this was, so I had to actually pop out my little pamphlet right here and read up a little bit about it. So this is really interesting, actually. Oops. Um, this is very interesting because this is a concentrated energizing liquid lotion visually relieves dullness diminishes signs of fatigue and promotes a healthy looking glow you, it says here that you can actually use it as a moisturizer as well but you can put it on before your makeup just to give your skin a little bit more hydration and then you can go ahead with your foundation and I think that's really awesome just because for me personally I have very dry skin and so anything that gives my skin a little bit more hydration really really helps it out so I really think that this could be really nice and so let's put it on the hand it's just a really like liquidy liquid, I would say. Um, it's pretty smooth. It has like a little bit of a thinner slash medium consistency feel. It smells pretty nice. It has a very traditional Lancome smell. And, and I just think that this would work really, really beautiful before I apply my foundation and, you know, probably um, just randomly. Last and final product that we have in this bag is from the brand Algenist. And this is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm, which I'm so excited about just because I have extremely dry skin around my eye area. I do use eye cream, but if you guys know of a really, really moisturizing good, what that, that, <laughs> that helps to like diminish signs of like, you know, wrinkles, let me know. But um, this looks really, really awesome. It has a, I don't know, does it have a smell? No, it doesn't have a smell. I think I'm smelling something else. Anyway, this is how the cream looks. It does come with a ton in here. Uh, for being an eye cream, I feel like this can last a really long time, and it has a very like regular, smooth consistency feel to it. It feels like it blends nicely into the skin. I feel like it does leave it a little bit more wet than I would want it to be, but I don't know. Hopefully, it can be a really nice eye cream, and if it's good, I'll probably purchase the full size. So let's just um, see everything that we got this past month. The truth is, I did see pictures online, but I was trying to like steer away from that because I'm like, don't look. Um, so I was, I peeked for a second, I'm like, oh my god, is it as good as last month's box? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. But actually looking through everything right now, I'm actually pretty, pretty pleased. And again, I think it's worth the $10. Like, um, yeah, I think it's worth the $10. I'm very happy with pretty much everything that's included in here. So we did get the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, which is nice. The Makeup Forever, Forever, the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow, which is great as well. The Lancome kind of like moisturizer type of thing. Um, the clean perfume gosh it smells so good I love it um, let me know if you guys like that too I feel like it's a very like unique smell that some people are gonna be like what it smells like um, and then we got the Sephora eyeliner and then we got the Algenis eye cream so one two three four five six six stuff for ten bucks I think that's pretty nice. So I'm pretty pleased with this box and I will say it's a huge thumbs up. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know uh, what you think of this month's box. If you guys got anything different. I know a few, a few people do get different things. So let me know and I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.